What's going on? So I am trying to show you guys how to clear this code. Now, every truck is a little different, but the idea and the principle behind it is going to be about the same thing, the same process. So with this truck, you're going to check for any fault codes, number one. See what they are, try to clear them. Okay, so that's what you're going to have to do first thing. Second thing, go through your systems, go through your checks. What you're going to want to do next is check your def pump, check your def quantity. Of course, check the injector or the diesel doser behind the uh, turbo. Make sure your delta ports on your EGR um, delta pressure sensor are good. They're clean. If everything checks out good, your quantity is good. I showed you in the video that this quantity was a, a bit excessive. It was at 100, above 175 milliliters. And if I'm not mistaken, the book says between 130 uh, max to 100 milliliters of death needs to be dosed. So that being said, what we're going to do now is we're going to do the process of doing the regen. If that's successful and efficiency is good, then the very next thing we need to do is go ahead and jump right into an SCR NOx efficiency test. Again, one after the other. Okay, you're going to be here a while. Make sure your laptop is charged. You have your power cord. Uh, do what you got to do and then I'm going to show you the process of how we try to clear this code and what we look for. Okay guys, so quick little tip on trying to clear this code. Now this code is one that a lot of you guys, especially on the newer trucks or new-ish trucks, are going to have this problem and that's going to be the def inducement light, which you're going to see right there, okay? Def inducement light, def lamp active, def inducement lamp check engine. And then you have SCR uh, codes co coming up as well. So that may be one problem. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is a quantity test, okay? A DEF quantity test. Now, the way you do that is very, very simple. I'm gonna show you how we do that. And it's a simple test that the computer does. So there's really nothing you need to do to try to make it pass. Again, it's just to measure the quantity of DEF. So what you're gonna wanna do is remove this fairing. You're gonna remove the DEF doser and then you're gonna measure that, okay? It's gonna spit out whatever it's gonna spit out. And if I'm not mistaken, on the newer trucks, it needs to be between 100 milliliters and 130 milliliters. So anything under that, you may have an issue. Anything over that, you may have an issue. So for now, it's still, again, it is dosing. It does it all on its own, and then you're gonna measure it. I'm gonna show you what the measurement is right now, at least what we have and how we do it, and then we'll go from there. I'm gonna show you a few other things that need to be taken care of first before we can proceed any further. So stand by, guys, I will show you. Okay, so the test, finished and let's see what it says here this is what the computer is saying you still need to go over there and measure and i'm going to show you that right now in a second function finished no failure found that is good that is very good now that means our pump more than likely is oh shit hold on all right that means our pump more than likely is working just fine now we just need to make sure if our def doser is dosing properly or the correct okay, guys, amount so this is what we use to measure the amount of def coming out okay now it's about as accurate as it's going to get i'm going to put it on a level surface and i hope you can see that the bottom line is 100 the top one is 150 milliliters and this thing is shooting out ah shit i hope you can see it there at over 175 milliliters so we definitely need to replace the def dosing unit this much def is too much and that could be causing the problem we have so check those things out first and before you go any further and try to do any regens and any other bullshit like that check that first uh, let's see, take a look here for yourself. Look at all this exhaust coming out. Now the customer told me this was serviced recently. Uh, this could be causing a lot of problems as well. Plus if you're over dosing too much def, that's gonna definitely contribute to that. So I don't know the history behind this. I'm gonna find out a little bit more from the customer. If this is no good, the def dosing unit, this needs to be replaced. Do the test all over again and go from there. So for now we're gonna stop. We're gonna take this crap out, this rail, take out this heat shield and we're going to inspect i'm going to show you what we find all right guys so one thing that we found once we we removed the heat shield we found that this wasn't installed correctly this clamp was however is a little off not a big deal because it still created a nice seal this particular setup if you guys are familiar with it has this little graphite gasket that gets kind of uh mounted up underneath anyway the leak that we found was up here uh this was installed incorrectly it was actually just a little bit cocked off center a little cricket allowing that exhaust to escape so we put a new clamp or the clamps the same one however we use the new gasket which comes in that little kit this one goes on the front this flat one again comes with the clamp itself so you can't buy it by itself we're going to secure that we've got a new def doser uh, once we get this thing all put together we're going to go ahead and try to do another regen and hopefully we will be successful 
and I'll show you how to clear that code. But again, these are little things that you're gonna have to make sure are correct so you don't have any issues down the line. One other thing I forgot to mention, to clear this code again, the first thing you're gonna do is check your codes, blah, 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 I already went over that. Number two, you're gonna need to do a parked regen. If the regen is successful and there's no other codes popping up, for example, knock efficiency, pressure, blah, 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 any of that crap related to the one box. If nothing else is popping up other than what we already have, the very next thing you're gonna do is jump into that SCR efficiency test. That's where it's actually gonna take the longest. So park region is gonna take about an hour. Let's just round it off to an hour. After that, the SCR test can take anywhere from one, two, three, sometimes four hours. It all depends. So again, make sure your, your laptop is charged. Make sure you're walking around, checking the truck and going from there. So again, this is a lengthy process. It's I'm gonna to try to make it as simple as possible and as quick as possible. So. Anyway, no more interruptions. Everything looks good so far. Again, we just started. The RPMs look really good, not bad at all. We're about 1,000 RPMs. From what I understand, anything 1,300 RPMs or higher may signify a problem, but for now, I'm not gonna sweat it. Pressure looks good. It just did a quick little self-check. That's very normal, so I'll keep so you all quickly. Quickly, just wanted to show you what it looks like when it starts to pass. You're gonna notice on the upper right that the codes are now inactive. The compensation, okay? That was low when we started. It was at a low of 0 0.86 and we are at 0 0.91. So for now, the codes are gone. However, do not let the, uh, do not think that it's over yet. It's still actually doing the test down here, okay? It will stop on its own, so just let it be. Don't do anything else to it. Again, it's pretty much a pass or fail, but being that that's there at that level, that's pretty good. However, the only code for this particular truck is this one, SCR Knox conversion efficiency low, detection by moving average. However, we'll take care of that in a second. I just wanted to show you how to get rid of the codes and how to make them inactive. Again, SCR closed loop, inactive, DEF inducement, both of them are inactive. Right now, our numbers are at 91. It's gonna hold that to see if it could just maintain that average. Uh, it may go higher. And once it does, again, the test will stop on its own. So don't stop the test yet. Let it do it on its own. And that's pretty much gonna make it a successful repair. So I hope this helps you guys out. Again, every truck is different. This is just a generalization. Uh, this was a 2019. The one in the video itself, I think was a 2017 DD13. But the idea is still the same. So it doesn't matter if it's 2019, 2017, 18. The process will be very similar. You're gonna encounter different things along the way. So. I hope this helps. Uh, as you can see, the number is actually increasing, which is great. I'm going to leave it there. And if you have any questions, as always, guys, hit me up. Uh, don't be afraid. I'll try to get back to them as soon as I can. All right, guys. So this particular test is all done. Check it out for yourself. Test complete. Check passed. Efficiency test stopped. So this has been a successful repair. As of now, we no longer have any lights going on on our dash which is a really good thing i'm very happy about that uh the downside it's taken about a good five hours maybe closer to six just to kind of clear this code with all the little things that we've done and the little repairs we've made along the way in addition to actually running this test and getting it all done so really quick first thing you want to do is check everything as i mentioned once you do that and everything is good next thing you want to do is do a parked regen. If that is successful and has no issues, right away you're going to jump into an SCR efficiency test. And that's where the fun begins because it's a pass or fail. The computer designates when it's done. I'm going to show you really quick. Let me just kind of get out of this and then the video will be done. So this efficiency test started at 1256. All right. And it just finished right now at 246. Now, some of you guys are probably going to say, that doesn't sound like five or six hours. No, it doesn't. Because yesterday I did this shit for about two hours. Had no luck with it because there was a few issues along the way. And then plus today. So that kind of sums up the amount of time that it takes to get all this thing going. Okay, plus the labor for the filters, the testing, the def testing, the def metering unit. All those little things add up to a bunch of, uh, a bunch of extra shit that we have to kind of get into. So that's what it takes to clear this code. This truck is good to go. I'm going to call the customer. I'm just gonna let it cool off a little bit. It's been doing a doing this regen for a second. I don't really like to let the truck die out right away as far as turning it off. I kind of want to let it cool off on its own. So 
So I'm gonna let it run a little bit and then we're all done. Guys, if you have any questions, as always, please hit me up. I hope this video helps you guys out. I'm gonna try to make it make sense when I edit this and then put it all together and make it short and sweet as possible. Guys, thank you so much. Again, the only thing I ask, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, follow, share the video. Have a great day.